I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannonbear. And this is the SCTV News Today. Well, it was a day for Celts and Pipes today as the city welcomed one of the best-known group of bagpipers in the world who are beginning a national concert tour. Most of these men are actually coal miners, and they hail from the coal country of southern Scotland and northern Wales. Here they are, the Queen's Black Lung Pipers. <laughs> And now here with SCTV's Consumer Complaint Action Line is Bess Furness. Thanks, Floyd. Our first consumer complaint comes from a landlord who writes, <laughs> Dear Consumer Complaint Action Line, I own a 16-unit apartment building, and lately I've been getting a lot of static from my tenants. It seems like they're always griping about something. No heat, broken plumbing, rent increases, <laughs> structural damages to the building. Bess, I'm fed up to here with it. What do they expect me to do about it? Now they're all refusing to pay their rent until I do something about the collapsed staircase. What can I do? Signed, Mr. X. Well, what Mr. X couldn't do, Consumer Complaint Action Line could. We sent four big thugs to the apartment <laughs> building to threaten all the tenants and take all the cash they had on them. The tenants coughed up, Mr. X got his rent, and a little interest, too. I don't think he'll have to worry any more about rent strikes. Lloyd. A humanitarian note in the news today. Comedian Dick Gregory, famous for his long hunger strikes, has joined with SCTV star Johnny LaRue to protest the ongoing hostilities in the Middle East. Mr. LaRue made the following statement at a press conference earlier this morning. Uh, Dick Gregory and I have decided to eat continuously until there's lasting peace achieved in the Middle East. We've been at it for three days now, and uh, Dick's in the hospital, and he's doing all right. Unfortunately, you know, that uh, he went in there. Myself, I'm doing fine. And just remember to eat until there's peace in the Middle East. Johnny LaRue, a big, big man, Getting bigger all the time. We're proud of him. And now it's time for a once a week feature on SCTV News, News Views Letters. Now this is where we read letters from uh, you, our viewers, who objectively discuss the pros and cons of our program. Now let's start it off, all right, Earl? Thanks, Floyd. Our first letter tonight comes from Mrs. Emil Zola, who writes, my family and I have been avid watchers of SCTV News for many months now, primarily because of the objectivity, discretion, and damn good journalistic sense of Floyd Robertson. His magnetic personality and undying quest for the truth make him number one in my books. Three cheers for Floyd. Oh, that was nice. Quite Isn't complimentary. It? Yes. Uh, here's one from Mr. D.R. Halsey of Centerville. Uh, Mr. Halsey says, Dear Floyd, can't say enough about your fine news program, but one thing really bothers me. Surely you can come up with someone better than Earl Cannonbear. I can see how you might feel sorry for the guy, but you can only carry pity so far. Now, if it's a contract thing with Earl, I'm a lawyer, and maybe I can help you out. I'd even waive my usual fee if it would help get Earl off an otherwise fine news program. Earl? The president of SCTV Network, there are two sides of every coin, and this seems to be your approach to your network news team, because Earl Cannonbear comes up tails in presence, personality, <clears throat> and delivery. He is a slug. It says here he's a slug jamming the efficiency of your news machine, and until you get rid of that, uh, and then it goes on and on, uh, fumbling moron. Empty-headed, fumbling more. <laughs> right. So, that's one letter. You finish it? No, I don't. Okay. Call you a slug. I hope you die of rabies. <laughs> 